What I am going to talk to you about today and demonstrate is HP Active Care. HP Active Care is a care pack based management solution that provides fast, reliable response and resolution, even with more users working remotely in your current environment. It combines the advantage of HP's Next Business Day response service with the power of HP's Tech Pulse Analytics. This allows customers to quickly identify device hardware issues and optionally submit cases directly to HP for repair. What you see in front of you is the Tech Pulse login screen. And I'm going to log on to an HP Active Care. And I'll demonstrate how easy it is to monitor your devices and then create a case. So I will click on sign in and I will type in my password. Here, HP Active Care dashboard is saying that we have an issue we need to address. We have one device that requires a battery replacement. You can see a history on the dashboard, any incidents that have been created. This is, in fact, a test account. So we actually intentionally created some failures. That is why we have so many to play with. But I can go ahead and drill directly through to my incidents, and I can see a couple of different devices here. And I see that one of them, I have a new issue, and that's been detected. It's a battery predictive failure, or a battery recall, and I'm going to drill down into that incident. What you'll see is TechPulse collects all the necessary information from the device. It's a notebook, and it's a battery with this serial number and entitlement information. And it's telling me that the battery has degraded. It needs to be replaced. It also tells me that the battery is in warranty. That's nice to know. And it gives me the tracking number for the battery. This is used by HP internally, but in case somebody is asked on the phone with a tracking number, they can go ahead and provide it. Underneath here, it can tell me that the case was created by myself. Right now, it's unassigned. We haven't done anything with it, and that's because we haven't done anything down here. Notice this option to create a case. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and create a case. After I click the button, it takes me to this page to create a case in HP's internal systems to dispatch a work order. So. The first thing I'm shown is the information on the device itself, the name of the device and the serial number, the issue that was detected. And then it gives me a little bit of space that I can put in additional information. I'll put in that this device can only hold a charge of 1.5 hours after it's unplugged. Now, if I click next, it's going to take me to a page where I can specify the location of the device. Now, I have a couple of options here. I can go ahead and supply a new shipping location. I can request the location from the end user. So the actual end user of the device would actually have a little pop-up appear on their system tray, asking them to provide their service address and phone number for contacting them and doing the service. Or I can select an address that has already been put in. I'm going to demonstrate here a new shipping location, just so you can see what the screen looks like. So we supply what the country is, and I will just give it an address. Of course, that is a fake address, and it's going to ask me for contact information. Now, in this case here, it's defaulting to me. I'm the IT decision maker who's managing this, but I can supply the name of the end user here, also John Doe. And there is my email address, and let's give John a phone number. And finally, because John works in a building that has restricted access, we want to provide some specific delivery instructions here. So I'll just ask the service technician once they arrive to check in in the building next door, building one. He can get a visitor's badge. And once that is done, he can call me on my cell phone and I'll either send somebody down to collect him or I'll escort him up. When I click on next, It'll review all the information that I supplied and give me the option to go ahead and create a case. So I will click on create. The system will tell me that it's created a case successfully. And if I scroll down a little bit, you can see a case. Status is pending and the case ID is null at this point. It does take a few seconds to populate this information. So let's refresh the screen. Now, if I scroll down, I can see the case ID. 
That's the internal ticket number in HP Systems. It's a new case. It hasn't been acted upon yet. And then, of course, we have our submission information from before. If I go back to the incidents page, you will see that I do have a new case that is out there in HP Systems, and here is the case ID. This is a great feature because it allows the IT decision maker to have a one-stop shop experience. They can see all the incidents that they have open, and if they've created cases with HP, they can see the HP case ID. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching this demo. I hope you'll reach out to us if you have any requests for more information on HP Active Care. Thank you.